What's up everybody, my name is Ignacio, and I thought I'd talk about Shakiro Shadows Die Twice and my first impressions of the game. Now I do want to keep in mind is that I've been playing the Dark Souls series for such a long time. I'm very well of software's as works. Um, Dark Souls 1 was my very first game in the series, and eventually I played 2 and 3, and sort of a bit of Bloodborne here and there, but I have a hard time getting into much more in Bloodborne. But the whole point is, is that what I'm basically saying is that I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. And I have to say this right now, is that trying to find a game that has the same experience as when I had when I first played Dark Souls 1 for the first time, it's quite difficult to say. Because when I first played Dark Souls on the PlayStation 3 back in the day, I remember I struggled quite a bit in the game, especially in the beginning. I didn't understand a lot of the things. The game doesn't really do a good job explaining a lot of things. The game kind of the game teaches you the mechanics, but after like a few of the tutorials, the game just kind of just throws you in the world and you pretty much had to figure out everything on your own. And this was around the time when I didn't really look up a lot of stuff on the internet because most times games do a good job explaining what to do, unless it's fucking Minecraft where that game doesn't teach you shit, but I digress. But eventually, I, I did eventually did look online for Dark Souls and try to get myself familiar with the game. And eventually, um, after months of playing Dark Souls 1, I did eventually beat it. And ever since that game, I just became an instant fan, and an, I have been a huge fan of the series ever since. So, Shakiro Shadows Die Twice pretty much captures the experience when I first played Dark Souls 1, and it's a great feeling to come back to. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, this game definitely frustrates the hell out of me, and I'm telling you right now, I, as somebody who's a huge Dark Souls fan, this game can definitely be very frustrating. And it's actually sort of a good thing because I was when I first heard about Shakira, I was just expecting another Dark Souls clone game, and I think most of us sort of did. But as the games showcase more, more interviews, and in terms of find out Shakira was going to be a lot different than we all ended up expecting, and which it was a damn good thing. But anyways. So I want to say is that this is sort of just my impression of the game. Um, I'm nowhere clear. Cl for, um, I don't think I'm nowhere clear, uh, close to beating this game. I'm just about 17 plus hour in the game, and a lot of the footage you guys are seeing right here is just pretty much just like the first like sort of beginning parts of the game. And if I actually, there is going to come up a clip. If I edit this part, there's actually be a part where I actually do freak out because this boss that I'm fighting right now, I had such a hard time fighting this fucker right here. I died to them like at least. 20 times until I finally discover it and keep in mind I didn't look any videos on how to beat any of these fucking bosses so it was a great feeling when I first beat him but anyways Shakira Die Twice is a damn good game and if you're somebody who hasn't bought it yet um, I would say you should get it but at the same time though this game is hard, and I really hate to say like what everybody else says, but I'm not joking, folks. This game is definitely oh difficult. Okay, this is the part oh where I would scream. Oh my um, I don't know if I edited it in or not, but but this would be the part where I freaked out. And yes, you probably would hear my friend. But but yeah, that this was the sweet taste of victory when I first beat him. But yeah, but no though, this game is the definition of difficult, and. And it's a lot harder than Dark Souls, I feel like. And in my book, that's actually kind of a good thing because that means that there's much more to learn. There's I don't I, I don't expect to play another Dark Souls game. I expect something a bit fresh and new. And yes, the game does feel like a Dark Souls game. I mean, it still has like some of the same animations, like opening doors, and there's still bonfires and stuff. But what do you expect from a game that makes this series? Of course, there's going to have some similarities to it. First of all. This game actually has a story. Not to say that none of the other series in the game had a story, but I feel like this one is a much more interesting story. But I wouldn't be surprised if somebody told me they didn't give a shit about it because it's just one of those things that... Like, because you're so focused on the game, the story just comes off as niche for most people, but I do think the story is much more 
cooler to know samurais fighting against each other. You protect the Lord. And it's up to you to return him. At least that's how the game pretty much says it. I mean, I don't know the story 100%, but from what I know, I can tell you it's much more interesting. First of all, I mean, secondly, I love the combat system. This is definitely a nice um, change of pace for the game because, let's be honest, Dark Souls and Bloodborne, they have a pretty simple combat system. It's it, Even though despite how fun those games the combat system is, um, it's very simplistic, you know, they barely have any moves, but in this game, this game has so many different moves that you can perform. Yes, you're going to be spamming the hell out of the R1 button, and you will do it a lot, but but there's moves to learn. There's different abilities that your character can learn, and with that arm of his, you can actually take out certain enemies. Certain enemies can only be taken out with your arm. I forgot what it was called, the prosthetic? tool or something like that I think that's how you say it I can't remember but it's your arm that actually that has so many different gadgets and abilities and they're all pretty unique now from my knowledge of it in my personal opinion um, I found the fireworks one to be the best prosthetic tool in the game so far I don't know just the idea of blocking and using the fire to your advantage to blind the enemy is just so useful and I just had a hard time using like any other prosthetic tool in the game but but then again, everybody has their own play style. Some people like to play a little bit differently. So you have to, you just have to find the right tool to your advantage. I'm not saying none of the tools is like bad or anything. I'm just saying is that from what I've used, I just found that myself using the firework the most. Another thing I do want to talk about too is just uh, there's a lot of bosses in this game. And not just like boss bosses, but there's also mini bosses in this game. And I was just surprised just how many, so many of them are. I swear to you, I can't tell you how many times that I just think to myself, just like, like, I just beat a mini boss and I had such a hard time beating him. Now I gotta fight an actual boss. I can't tell you how many times I beat a mini boss and all suddenly, like, less than like 10 minutes later, I just find myself to fighting a, an actual boss or something like that. There are so many mini bosses in this game, it's redonkulous. And they can be just as difficult as the main bosses themselves. But but what's so interesting is that you think to yourself, oh, you don't have to do the mini bosses in this game. But in a game like this, because, because when you beat a boss or even just mini bosses in general, you get rewarded for doing it. Um, the way how they do their level up system is way different from Dark Souls. Um, you actually have to beat bosses just to even gain some sort of power. Like for example, there's this like um, pearls that you get. You get like four like pearls of like round balls, whatever. But it can only be obtained by like certain like mini bosses and probably bosses in general. Or you can just find from sort of finding from the world. I don't know, but you kind of just find it from by fighting mini bosses, and they'll give you one of each. But you have to get four of them just to gain one power up. So the game kind of like forces you to fight some of these guys just to get more power. And there's a thing called a memory. If you beat an actual boss, you can get their memory and gain more strength. And this is a big deal. In a game where where precision is everything, dodging, you're going to want as much health and damage as you can. So getting pearls or whatever you call it, the beads, whatever for your for yourself and memory is a big deal. But overall, my experience has been fun. Um, yes, I have definitely been frustrated with this game. I, I, there's been days where, I mean, the game's been out for a week now by the time this video is made, and and there has been like two days I think I just refuse to play this game just because the game just can be just that difficult. And But once I do stick with it, you know, it feels so good still when you beat a boss, and it's just, it, you just have to experience for yourself to understand. Of course, if you play Dark Souls and if you beat a boss, and you work so hard to beat, it's great. Also, it's another thing to note too, what makes the game even harder, it's not only that because the encounters are much more aggressive than what the previous like Dark Souls games were, it's also because you get punished now when you die. You know, you get cursed, you're, you're like other people in the world get struck by the dragon rot, and I believe, I've never done it yet though, but I believe when you let your, t your uh, um, people get like sick with dragon rot, I think they just eventually die if you don't cure it. And that just sucks so much. 
and it just kind of forces it to be good. I'm just saying is that if you haven't purchased this game yet, um, and if you're somebody who really is interested, you might be surprised how fun this game is. The combat, like I said, is addicting as hell. The the re the reward of just beating these bosses that you think they're so difficult. It's just it's it's one of the best experiences, and this is something I believe what what um, software does a really damn good job at doing, and I give them props for that. Now, of course, this is just a week later from playing the game for myself personally. Um, I'm enjoying it still, and right now at this point, I'm happy where I'm at at the game. Um, I'm definitely still learning, but I think I've gotten much better at the game. But I wanted to say is thank you guys for listening to my commentary. And I hope you guys enjoy yourself.